representing Germany, Jan Gertler. The umpire is Jackie Williams from Great Britain. Your assistant umpire, Jelena, Jelena Karstedt of the United States of America. On table two, it's a class eight match representing Brazil, Jane Rodriguez. Representing Philippines, Josephine Medina. Your umpire is David Goulden of Great Britain and his assistant umpire, Peter Higgins, also of Great Britain. On table three, it's a class three match. Representing France, Jan Gilhem. Representing Republic of Korea, Kim jong Siuk. Your umpire is David Edwards of Great Britain and the assistant umpire, Ben Foote, also of Great Britain. On table one, it's a class three match representing Republic of Korea, Kim Jin Sung. Representing Czech Republic, Jaroslav Hadrava. The umpire is David Cochran of Great Britain. The assistant umpire, Neil Curtis of Great Britain. On table four, it's a class eight match representing Norway, Ada Dahlen. Representing People's Republic of China, Mao Jingdian. The umpire is Angelo Eichmanns of the Netherlands. The assistant umpire, Stan Clark of Great Britain. On table eight, it's a class six match representing Japan, Junki Itai. Representing People's Republic of China, Chen Chao. The umpire is Milana Kermelch of Slovakia. The assistant umpire, Igor Borodavchenko of Russian Federation. London 2012 Paralympic Games. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Farrell Anthony. I'm your in ear commentator for this Class 8 Group B match between Jane Rodriguez from Brazil and Josephine Medina from the Philippines. Jane Rodriguez is the world ranked number 14 player. She made her senior international debut in 2004 at the Copa Tango Cup in Argentina. And she's actually coached by her husband, Joachim Gogol. Josephine Medina is world ranked number nine. Um, she made her international senior debut in the Asian Paralympic Asian Games in 2003. She's coached by Joseph L. Cruz. And um, she is a right-handed offensive player. Um, likes to attack on both wings. And as they do their two-minute warm-up now, um, 
Josephine is playing in red and Jane Rodriguez playing in green. So they're just continuing the two minute warm up now. This will be an interesting matchup because they're they're sort of close in world rankings. And um, they've both won um, titles abroad. Um, I don't know how many times they've met before, but uh, they both like to play the uh, fast-paced game, and it should be a very interesting matchup. So that's it. The two-minute warm-up's over. It is Jane Rodriguez to serve. Great start from the Philippine there, um, Josephine Medina. And again, she just uh, played a forehand, um, so she now leads 2 0, and it's she, she will serve. Just to explain that these two players are both class 8, and um, this is um, class 8 um, classification is for those with severe restriction in movement of one lower limb or a moderate restriction in both lower limbs and or a moderate to severe restriction movement in the plane arm. So um, they will be restricted in movement, but that's not to detract from their ability to play the game. And that's a backhand service and the, um, Josephine Medina has raced into a 4-0 lead very early on in this first game. That's the first point on the board for Jane Rodriguez, a nice forehand topspin winner. And again, and she's just played a backhand winner. So now she's probably just feeling a bit more relaxed. It's 4-2 to Josephine Medina and Medina to serve. Great serve there from Medina to Rodriguez's back uh, forehand side. Um, an easy point winner. And again, same thing. She's played to Josephine. She's played to Jane Rodriguez's forehand. She's um, she tried to play a forehand back, but she's missed the ball and put it in the net. So she's 6-2 down now, Rodriguez. And that's three forehands that Rodriguez has missed in a row. Three easy points for Medina. And now she leads 7-2 in the first game. So it's now Rodriguez to serve, sorry, Medina to serve, and it's 7-3 to Medina. And again, that forehand's causing Rodriguez a few problems. She's not really settled into the match, I don't think. And she's messed three or four really easy forehands, and so I just put it down to nerves. Then again, she's missed another forehand. And so Medina now leads 9-3 in the first game, but five of, five of those points that she's received have all come from miss hits by Rodriguez.
And now she's at match point. She is leading, uh, Medina is leading Rodriguez 10-3. So she has um, seven match points. That was a great return from Rodriguez. Punching it down Josephine Medina's forehand and she created a, an unforced error there. And there we have it, the first game. Medina wins 11-4. So both players go back to their coaches, respective coaches, for a bit of guidance and advice. Um, I think Medina will be the happier of the two, having got that game under a belt coaches again the, the coaches are very expressive um, using the hands to explain what they want out of their um, players um, and Dean is listening intently to her coach and it should be a very interesting second game see if um, I think if Rodriguez can cut down on her unforced errors I think um, she'll be causing Medina a few problems in the second game So both players come back to the table for the second game. It will be Medina to serve from the Philippines. And she just clipped the top of the net there and it went, uh, just went off the uh, edge of the table. So uh, first blood to Rodriguez in the second game. Rodriguez leads one love. Great backhand serve from Medina. And that forehand, when she gets it on Rodriguez, is very strong. And if she can do that, she's probably caused Medina some problems. It's 2-1 Rodriguez. And it's tall, all to play for in the second game, Medina to serve. And there we have it again, another missed forehand from Rodriguez. And now Medina leaves 3-2. And like I said before, um, because of the restricted movement with the players within the Class 8 disability, um, they um, the Class 8 classification, what happens is the players will play on that mobility issue and so they'll try and get the players as wide as possible to make it as difficult as possible for them to play consistent shots. And just like that where Medina was actually stretching for the ball, she couldn't reach any further. Um, and, she, and it was a quick point for Rodriguez. Again, a good long fast serve to the Rodriguez backhand wins the point. 6-3 Medina. And another quick point. Um, she now leads 7-3. That's a great tactic from Rodriguez, trying to play Medina wide to a foreign, making a stretch, making a, making a, use every part of her body to try and get the ball back. And now Medina leads 8-4 in the second game, having secured the first. 
And again, that's, um, that fast serve to the backhand causing Rodriguez problems. Medina's won three points on it on this, in this particular service game. And there she tried to go down the line. Um, and it just went away for her. So she now leads 9-5 in the second game. And it's Rodriguez from Brazil to serve. And that's a great punch, and she puts a, she punches the air in delight, does Rodriguez. She really wants to be competitive in this game, and she's letting know, Medina know that she's still in the game. But again, she just missed um, a backhand, and now Medina uh, moves into a 10-6 lead and serving for the second game. And there we have it, 11-6 to Medina. She now leads um, in the match t uh, two games to nil. She goes back to her coach. She'll be the happiest of the two players. Um, still, the Philippine coach is being really expressing. He's, he's talking about, um, you can see that he's sort of t giving her signals and showing her what he wants her to do. He's made a lot of notes. Again, the Brazilian coach is talking to Rodriguez. Um, she's taking a swig of water. She's listening intently to her coach. She wants to get back into this game. And maybe he can give her some tips on how to do that. And um, so she can be more competitive in this third game. Medina leads two games to zero. There's a close-up of um, Rodriguez. She's got um, a, some clips in her hair in the Brazilian colours of yellow and green. Um, she's back at the table first, eager to get on with the third game. And Medina cl follows closely. Just taking a towel now to wipe down and doing, um, just making sure she's prepared and gets prepared to play the third game, and it's actually Rodriguez to serve. Great first service from Rodriguez. It just clipped the edge, and she acknowledges her good fortune to Medina, but she leads the third game 1-0. And again, she's just got a bit of good fortune, but she leads 2-0 in this game. It's Medina to serve. A backhand serve. And this time, it's Medina who gets the good fortune, and she's down in this third game, 2-1. Again, that fast backhand to Medina. Um, Rodriguez backhand wins of the point, gets her back in the game to all. And she's never really got she's not really got going yet. Rodriguez with the forehand, I think she's she's missed more than she's actually got on, and it and it's causing her issues with the game. There we have it. Rod Medina has just played a forehand right into the body of Rodriguez, made it made it difficult for her to play a shot, and she now leads the third game 4-2. It's now 5-2 to the girl from the Philippines, Josephine Medina. And it wouldn't surprise me soon if the Brazilian calls a timeout. The Brazilian coach calls a timeout. And again, Rodriguez just getting lucky with the forehand. Fortune favours the brave. She went for the shot. It just trickled over the net. And she now she's now in deficit 5-3, but she's serving.
and she punches the air with delight there. She's got a forehand on, and she's still in this game. She's 5-4 down. And she's just gone for a backhand. It tied her up a bit. And now Josephine Medina from the Philippines leads 6-4. Ladies and gentlemen, on table seven, we have a class three match representing Argentina, and again, Gabriel Coppola. She's missed the forehand. Representing been, Israel, Liran Gebbe. She's been on form today for Rodriguez. She's missed the quite a few forehands. Derek it Sherrett might cost of her the Great game. Britain. She's 7-4 down assistant umpire against Medina from the Alawi Philippines. Balgaif. Of Qatar. In the third game, London 2012, Paralympic serve. Games. One more serve to come. Let's serve called. And now it's Medina's turn to, to miss a forehand. And it's 7 5. The Brazilian still has a chance of winning this game and taking it to a fourth game. Very simple shot that Medina's just missed there, and she she rides in anger. And now she's just lost another point in quick succession. And another point in quick succession. And the Brazilian close, she's con um, congratulating his player. She's fought back from 7-4 down to actually come to 7-all in the third game. And again, she just scratches her head in. She does. She's not. She's a bit quizzical. She doesn't understand why she missed the ball. Um, she now lost four points in a row. But she's put a lot of backspin on that forehand, um, on the backhand uh, serve to Rodriguez's forehand, and Rodriguez is not finding it easy to lift that ball. So it's now eight all. It's Rodriguez to serve at a crucial point in the match. A great topspin from Rodriguez, but she missed the follow-up. So now she's nine eight down, and um, it's advantage to Medina from the Philippines. And that was a great ball that she played down the backhand. The ball popped up and just went away from Medina. So now it's 9-0, Medina to serve. It's actually the third game. Great return from Rodriguez, but an equally great return from Medina. And she now got match point. And there it is, she serves it with spin to forehand. 11-9, she wins the third game. So Medina's going to be the happiest of the two. She wins the game 3-0. 11-4, 11-6, 11-9. Three and she'll wait to play her next group match, which will uh, be tomorrow. All the players shake hands.